Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maria Mukhtar and I'm from the Department of BS Chemistry. My ID is 004 and this is the course of Industrial Chemistry. As I have talked about the antibacterial finish. Now, the second topic is of antibacterial finish. Antibacterial finishes. So, I'm going to talk about the layout of this finish here. In which first I'll start with the gram positive and gram negative bacteria and its staining method that how it is identified and how it can be differentiated then the introduction of the antibacterial and then effects of the antibacterial finishes how chemicals can be used what are the technology and what are the nanobased antibacterial and what are the necessities what are the requirements? What are the fabrication methods, chemical agents, mechanism, finish basin, saline, and follow up primer testing method? And after that, I'll conclude my presentation. So we should be familiar with the gram staining procedure. So, what this procedure contains gently flood the smear with the crystal violet and leave for the one minute. Till the slide slightly and gentle the rinse with the tap water or distilled water. Crystal violet is a water soluble dye which enters the peptidoglycan layer, the bacterial cell. Gentle flood with the smear with the gram iodine. And till the slide and gently rinse with the tap water and distilled water, the smear will appear now. Here we can see that with iodine, it's purple, and with crystal violet, it's also purple. Gram's iodine solution. So what is Graham's iodine solution? Iodine and potassium iodide is added to form a complex with the crystal violet, which is much larger and is insoluble in water. So Graham staining procedure for alcohol and saffron. Decolorize the smear using 95% ethyl alcohol and acetone till the slide and apply on the drops alcohol until the alcohol runs almost clear, five to 10 seconds. Immediately rinse with the water to avoid over decolorizing. Fourth, saffron. Gently flood with the saffron in counter strain and leave for 45 seconds. Till the slide slightly and gently rinse with the tap water or distilled water. Five, blot the side dry on the filter paper, then view the smear using the live microscope under oil immersion. So, saffronin and decolorizing hydrates. Saffronin is basically a weakly water soluble and will stain bacterial cell a right red, enabling visualization of the gram negative cell without interfering with the observation of the purple of the gram positive cell. Decolorizer hydrates the peptidoglycan layer, shrinking and tightening it. In gram positive bacteria, the large crystal violet iodine complexes are then unable to penetrate and scrape the thin peptidoglycan layer, resulting in the purple stain. While in the case of grand negative bacteria, the outer membrane is degraded, the thin peptidoglycan layer and is unable to retain the crystal violet iron complexes and the color is lost. So, gram positive bacteria versus gram negative bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria have distinctive purple appearance when observed under light microscope following the gram stain. This is due to the retention of the purple crystal violet stain in the thick peptidoglycan layer of the cell wall. Examples of gram-positive bacteria include all Staphylococcus, all Staphylococci, and some Lizaria species. Gram-negative bacteria have pale reddish color when observed in a light microscope using gram staining. This is because the structure of their cell wall is unable to retain the crystal violet stain, so are colored only by the saffronine counterparent. Example of gram-negative bacteria include Enterococci and Salmonella species, yeah, pneumonia species. So different in the structure of the gram-positive bacteria versus the gram-negative bacteria is that there is a lipotypic acid and tigric acid, which are not present here. There is a peptidoglycan layer, which is very thick. And here we can see that the peptidoglycan layer is very thin. This is the outer membrane and 
they are the periplasmic spaces, which are present in both, but the difference can be seen by the thickness and the thinness of both cell walls. So let me take a start with the antibacterial definition. In the present day, the world, most of us are very conscious about hygiene and cleanliness. Clothing and textile material are not only the carriers of the microorganisms such as pathogen, bacteria, adore generating bacteria and more than there, but also the good media for the growth of the microorganisms. To present such problem textile treated with the BioShield AM500. Here we can see that antibacterial unproductive fiber sees very rough and while the productive fiber is very clean and very smooth. So microbe, we should be familiar with what microbe is actually is. Microbe are the microorganism, are the tiniest creature not seen by the naked eye. They include a variety of microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, algae, and viruses. Bacteria are basically unicellular organisms which grow very rapidly under warmth and moisture. What are the aspects of the antibacterial production? Two different aspects for the antimicrobial production provided by the chemical finishes can be distinguished. The first is the production of textile using against pathogenic and adore carbon organisms for the hygiene finishes. The second aspect is the production of the textile itself from the damages which are caused by the mold, mildew, or producing microorganism. What is the necessity of the antibacterial finishes? Antimicrobial treatment for the textile material is necessary to fulfill the following objective. To avoid the infection by pathogens, to control the infestation by microbes, to control the infestation by microbes, to arrest the metabolism in microbes in order to reduce the formation odor, to safeguard the textile products from the staining, decolorization, and quality decolorization. What are the requirements of the antimicrobial finish? Durability to washing, dry cooling and hot pressing, selectivity to undesirable microorganism should not produce harmful effects to the manufacturer, user, and the environment. Effective control to the bacteria, mold, and fungi. Compatibility with this chemical process. Easy method of application. No deterioration of fabric quality. Resistance to the body fluid and resistance to the Disinfection and sterilization. What are the fabrication methods? There are two methods fabrics with the antimicrobial post treatment and fabric with the antimicrobial fibers. Antimicrobial agents are defined as agents that kill microorganisms or simply inhibit the growth, are antibacterial agents. The degree of activity is denoted by the acidal and static. The agent that kill microorganism and the agent that basically inhibit the microorganism growth. What is the mechanism of the antimicrobial finish or antibacterial finish? These products can be divided into two types based on the mode of the attack on the microbes. One type consists of chemical that can be considered to be operated by the controlled release mechanism, and the other that are chemically bound to the fiber surfaces. Controlled release mechanism. The antimicrobial is slowly released from the reservoir, either on the fabric surface or interior of the surface. This leaching type of the antimicrobial can be very effective against the microbes on the fiber surface or in the surrounding environment. However, eventually the reservoir will be depleted and the finish will no longer be effective. In addition, the Antimicrobial that is released to the environment may interfere with the other desirable microbes, such as those present in the base treatment facilities. So, second matter in which they are chemically bound to the fiber surface mechanism are these products can control only those microbes that are present on the surface of the fiber, nor the surrounding environment. Bound antimicrobial because of the attachment of the fiber and can potentially be abraded away or become deactivated or lose long term durability. So, in the conclusion of this, I can conclude that the finish removes or kill the bacteria and parasite present on the surface of the material on the fabrics and product us from the different diseases. There are other phases commonly. It's a major rule is to resist the bacteria and product material from them.
The finishing agents also play a very important role in the stone and triclosan and benzyl benzoate. So if we can take some of these precautionary measures, we can't harm with the viruses and bacterial infections that are commonly transmitted from one another and easy to lead a happy life. Here we can see that Jardin, without it, it is very adore causing bacteria multiply, but with it, adore free and inhibit the growth of the adore causing bacteria. So, antimicrobial repellent finishes for cotton fabrics, which are based on the saline and fluoropolymers. Textile goods are excellent substrate for growing microorganisms. For last 50 years, the prevention of the microbial attack on the textile have increasingly important. Infections on the blood-borne bacteria and viruses. The textile materials such as socks, you know, wear space very smell with the body perspiration. The care workers is also interested in that and gowns should also be able to avoid stick through the wetting out of the fabrics, especially the surgical gown, drape, and the mask. For the medical stop, infection by the blood-borne pathogens such as HIV and HBV. In textile, they are used in hotels, transportation, biological institutions, need antimicrobial textile. Nowadays, non-woven fabrics are the most common used textile for surgical gowns, patent wraps, about cores, for overall, and other kinds of protective clothing. In cosmetic and medical application, the controlled release of the chemical can produce many applications, not only in the cosmetic area, but various several medical applications too. There is a currently a prominent trend towards increasingly the level of the hygienic necessity for the material used in thousands of household and services sector. Creation of the metal material with the antibacterial and anti-adhesive property for the fluxation of the bed linens and medical uniform will reduce. The nanotechnologies open a new world in the area of textile. Physical chemistry of wetting. When a drop of the liquid on the solid surface, when the drop of the liquid on the solid surface doesn't increase the the drop will assume a shape that appear constant and exhibit an angle, which called contact angle. The angle is a characteristic of particular liquid solid interaction. Therefore, the equilibrium constant angle serve as an induction of the variability of the solid by the liquid. The interfacial forces between the liquid and the vapor, liquid and solid, and solid vapors all come into a way when determining whether the liquid will spread or not smooth surfaces. The equilibrium established between the forces between the contact angle. This is the contact angle. So, antibacterial activity of the customized materials. Introduction. The antibacterial activity of the customized material was recognized as the antimicrobial test conducting was recognized as. According to the recommendation in the action was characterized by the growth inhibition zone of the microorganism in eager infected with Staphylococcus aureus, for a sample. To do this droplet of water and all for a sample of the fabric down oxide and the time of the droplet was recorded. What are the material and the matter for this? Fabrication preparation. 100% cotton plain woven made of two Six two second combined yarn and one one an inch and eighty four pig inch while the size fair to the appliance and sub burnt non bond non woven fabrics made of this thirty two GSM application of the antibacterial finish onto the fabrics flame was coated onto the fabrics by the dry pad cure method application of the blood repellent finish. In this work, dual finish of the antibacterial and bud plants were imparted to the surgical gown and bed linen fabrics. The antibacterial finishes material were post-treated and floor polymer independently by the following method. Flora polymer treatment recipe. Flora polymer IPA, which is isopropyl alcohol, the fabric were treated separately with these percentage follow parameter above the recipe by the tripe method to attain a bed pickup.
wet pickup of 75% dried at 130 degrees Celsius and cured at 150 to 160 for two minutes. What is the test method for assessing the antimicrobial finish? The antibacterial effect of the different concentrated saline and the polypolymer treated with the sample to determine. And these are ATCC and AATCC are the tests that was described earlier. Test method for assessing the antimicrobial finishes are eager diffusion method and antibacterial quantitatively method. Quantitative antimicrobial determination. Test specimens were imparted on plate were incubated for. These are at such temperature so that by the extent of the bacterial growth in the contact zone between the eager and the specimen. This is another quantitatively method. Test method for assessing blood repellent. Blood repellency of the sample was assessed using the impact penetration and separators. The synthetic blood was prepared using distilled water as surfactant, according to the ASPMF, for testing the resistance for the clothing material to synthetic blood. Test method for assessing blood repellent finishes. Impact penetration test and spray test. These two are the tests which are to be used, spray test. Water spray test, again, the torn surface of the test specimen under the control condition and the spray rating is determined by comparing the appearance of the test specimen, to the descriptive standard and photographs. Results, cotton woven and the spun bond Non-woven fabric treated with this lane shows very good resistance to both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria and durability is also very good. So the result of the eager distribution test for antimicrobial effectiveness against the E. culture. Specimen represents line treated polymers finished sample. The antibacterial activity of this line polymer species sample at four different concentrations of the Flora polymer deposit sample based on the eager diffusion and method is given and it can be inferred with the antimicrobial efficiency reduced apparently. So quantitative antimicrobial analysis shows that the woven and non-woven fabrics treated with this line and the flora polymers have excellent activity. And at the same time, blood repellency effect has also an excellent. If the concentration increases, antimicrobial activity increases, these results are achieved. What is the effect of the fluoropolymer treatment on the blood repellency? It is observed that the amount of the synthetic blood penetrating the sample is reduced with increase in the polymer's concentration. The spring rate also improved with the increase in the fluorocarbon concentration. It may conclude that the concentration of the fluoropolymer is increased, then the water blood repellency is also increased. What is the effect of the fluoropolymer treatment on blood repellency? These are the three tests, spray test, penetration test, and a drop test. These are the sample and these are the material and the result are as follows of the penetration test. In drop test, the untreated woman and non-woven has spreading effect of the drop of the blood treated woman and non-woman fabrics of the fluoro polymer, the drop of the blood doesn't spread on the fabrics. But in the case of penetration test, the untreated woven and the non-woven fabrics have been taken in the blood penetration take place. So it failed. The woven and non-woven fabrics treated with the polar polymer under four concentration of these that result in is passed in both. Conclusion, the flora polymer concentration increase the blood plenty increases. At the same time, antimicrobial activity will be increased. Antimicrobial and the blood repellent cotton women and subborn non-women fabrics were prepared by the directly incorporating of the slain and the flora polymer on the fabrics. Then 4% of the flora polymer give optimum result when increasing the concentration of it and it gives excellent good blood repellency. These are the references. And that's all from my side. Thank you.